Hello YouTube, my name is Nick and today I've got some domination on showdown and I'm using the ACOG M40 with bandolier stopping power and steady aim and um, this was pretty much all I did back when I uh, when COD 4 was the game to play um, back in like 08 or whatever and um, yeah I like using the ACOG just because the kills just feel so rewarding I love the way it kicks and the way the hit markers go and the it just feels so great to get a kill with it. So uh, I used it a lot and I did really bad but I still had fun with it because this gun was hilarious and um, recently I got back into using it. I've been like really try hard since I started playing COD 4 again like only using AK and G36 but now I'm kind of like hey let's go ahead and just use this gun whenever. So. Um, Showdown was the map that I used it the most on, um, I almost always used it, and this guy has the amazing ability to take four of my bullets to kill him, uh, but yeah, I don't know, I sometimes have difficulty aiming with the ACOG, just because, you know, you can't, um, steady the aim, and it's kind of difficult to hit them with the red, tri or the orange triangle thing, but, um, what I end up doing usually is, um, yeah, I got killed. What I usually end up doing is kind of unscoping the second I shoot, and I find that almost makes it more accurate. Like, I kind of aim near them, and then I uh, let go of the left trigger uh, to unscope, and it seems like it makes them get hit more. Um, plus, uh, now I aim a lot more by walking, which is a lot more accurate for me because left-handed and I can't aim with the right analog stick. So, um, I don't know, it seems to work for me. Uh, this game, I actually, I got a ridiculous amount of kills, but, um, I'm not uploading the entire game because, uh, after, I think, my third death, um, we started to get spawn trapped, and then the host had, like, problems with their internet, and we got connection interrupted, so, just gonna be showing you guys the first, like, half of the game with me and my ACOG sniper, and I just love the sound it makes and the way the kills feel. Heal. I don't know, it's just really rewarding to get a kill with this gun, just because, I don't know, it's not even hard really, because um, the way it works is the ACOG scope adds 5 damage to the gun, so now the gun's base damage is 75, so that's a one hit kill with stopping power no matter where you hit them, so like you can shoot them in the toe and you'll get a one hit kill, which is great because it pretty much equals no hit markers whatsoever. Um, which is good because, you know, the gun has sway and uh, it doesn't have a lot of zoom, so it's kind of hard to hit people at a distance. And if you're using a sniper that, you know, I guess the whole concept is to be accurate, but um, really uh, getting a hit marker with the sniper just sucks. Um, especially, like, if you shoot them in the leg or whatever, because, you know, if you shoot somebody twice in the leg with, a, with an assault rifle, it'll kill them, or twice in the toe. And realistically, it wouldn't. And same with the sniper, so like I think it's fair. Um, <laughs> maybe not, I don't know. I, I really don't like getting quick scoped by ACOG snipers, but I love doing it. Um, it's just really annoying when you, you have an assault rifle and somebody comes up close and kills you with their sniper. But yeah, it's really easy to quick scope with this. Um, the bullet's like dead accurate. Um, you aim in almost instantly and you never get hit markers, which makes this like the most fun quick scoping you'll ever find. Um, it's like. It's almost like playing private matches where you have minuscule health, except for it's not. And uh, I think I got a hit marker there, but you will get hit markers if you shoot through surfaces like walls and whatnot. So uh, beware of that. So yeah, just running around here, with ACOG. I kind of like staying in these staircases. It seems like the the distances, like the hallways in this building, are like the perfect distance to be using an ACOG sniper. Like it's not too far that you really have to work hard to you know accurately line it up because of the sway. So you can just fairly easily uh, aim in and shoot people. And um, you know you can. It's not too hard to keep yourself at a distance. And uh, yeah, this guy I believe. Does he kill me? No. Oh, he has Juggernaut. Juggernaut's one thing that was really annoying because it pretty much takes like two hits no matter where you hit them to kill them. But anyways, yeah, um, I think, yeah, a nice 20 kill streak. I really like the way it says what kill streak you're on, the 10, 15, 20, and I'm not sure if it goes higher. I don't remember. Um, but 10, 15, 20 kill streaks, you get that nice little banner across the screen, which is really nice. I enjoy that feature of Cloud 4. 
So uh, I think I went 36 and 3 for this part. And uh, I think I probably went like 50 and maybe 8 or 9 at the end of the game. But anyways, that's all I'm going to show you. So um, thumbs up if you enjoyed that. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.